Hey guys, in this video we are going to learn about file change trigger. If any changes happening in the folder to the files, it should trigger an action. So how this can be done? Let's start from the very beginning. So the very first thing I will do, I will type trigger in the activity panel and after typing trigger, you will find something called trigger scope. Drag and drop the trigger scope. Okay, very first action. We have dragged and dropped the trigger scope. Within that, there are two different blocks. First is the trigger block, second is the action block. On what? What should happen? So you want to you know send a trigger. So for that, there are several activities. Okay. Process start. If there's a process started, you should trigger an action. If a process ends, then you should trigger an action. So similar way, this all these videos I have already created. I hope you have already seen them. If not, even this video is going to help you to understand the entire process. So here we are taking the example of file change trigger in UI path. Okay. So file change trigger. How this is going to be configured? This is the maximum question people may have. How this works or how to be configured. So let's quickly start it. Now the very first point in the property panel is the path. You have to first provide the path where you like to monitor changes. Let's say this is the path. This is the folder where I have got multiple PDF files. You can for testing purpose, you can have a lot of text file or Excel files in a given folder. Try to experiment the way I'm teaching. So the very first thing what I'm doing, I have selected a folder. I'll copy the path. I'll go to the path folder and in the path folder, I'm going to copy paste the link. I mean the entire path. So once this is done, now the activity understands, hey, I know if any change is happening in this specific folder, then I should trigger an action. Okay. So this it has understood. Now the next thing, what kind of files you would like to monitor? So this is a monitoring activity, right? This monitors if there's any kind of a file change. So what kind of files you would like to monitor? So within double quote, because it's a string, I'm going to use a star dot PDF. So why I'm giving a star? Because if you see in my folder, there, there are multiple different names. There are diff various names. If you would like to specifically target one file, they can, you can provide the entire file name. But I want to target all PDF files. So I'm, that's why I'm putting a wild character dot PDF. Clear? So you can make, go through a lot of experiment. You can do entire name, you know, try to make some changes and try to see. So this is for all kind of PDFs available in the folder. So this is that. These are the two important thing that you should do. Now the next thing change type. Okay. Now change type by default, it is selected change. So remove that. Let's start with created. Created in the sense, if something gets created, it should monitor. If somebody is creating a new file, it should monitor. Okay. Let's go with a simple one first and then we can change. So I've selected what created in the change type notify filter by default, the file name is selected. That means file name. If there's any change, you need to if there is someone is creating a new file, then it, you're supposed to let me know, right? Similar way, there are size. If there is some changes in the size, that means someone has updated something. You can also select this. So up to you. You can experiment. So let's go with simple created one. Clear? And I've given the path. So everything is ready. Everything is ready. Now let's look at the action. In the action section, there is something called arc. This variable is very, very important. I have covered this in the trigger scope video. Watch that video trigger scope, uh, not trigger scope. I have covered that in uh, process start trigger process end trigger using a switch activity. I have shown it. Please do watch that video. If you wanted to know what is arcs and how to use it in a switch case. Now in this one, so I should be notified. You can, you can, you know, use any activity here. I'm going to use the message activity. You can go with any right line. You can send an email to yourself. Anything you can design in this sequence. So for experiment and learning purpose, I will simply go with message box. Now in the message box, it should show me. So what I have selected, if somebody is creating something. So I'm saying someone 
I can also get the uh, you know username and all those things can be done. But here I am simply saying uh, a new file is created in the folder. Okay. All this can be once you understood how it works, then all this can be experimented. So done. Now let's run this. So what's happening? Now it will come to the trigger section and it will wait here. It will monitor. It'll continue. So look at this. The moment it comes here, it is going to you know wait for the endless time. It is going to continue to wait for the endless time. So let's go. Open the folder. Okay, I'm making this folder slightly smaller so that we can see what's happening. Now, because I have selected created, so let's do one thing. Let's copy the file and I'm going to paste it. I have copied it. I'm pasting it. So the moment I paste it, a new copy got created. And what happened here? It came here and say a new file is created in the folder. Getting it? So it has triggered an action. Now let's say, see, this is going to be in the continuous loop. If you would like to stop this continuous loop, right? Many people do not need a continuous loop. Then here in the trigger scope, once you highlight, there's an option called one time. You can go and select one time, okay? So, so that it will stop after one monitor. Only one monitor it will do, not more than that. Now here, let's change it to from created. I'm going to select deleted. You can also select all, you know, up to the requirement. I'm saying I'll go with deleted, let's say. Deleted, let's run this. I'm going to run it. Okay, so everything minimizes. And once everything is minimized, so this is the folder. Okay, so this is created. This file is created. Now let me delete this. Okay, so I'm going to right click and delete. So the moment I delete it, what happens? A new or a file has been deleted. You can change that message box. But again, you understood how this one is functioning. Okay, so you can make all the changes to the sequence. That's fine. Let's say you say Rakesh, what you are just monitoring dot PDF. Can I monitor one more file by putting or condition? No, that would not work. Uh, reason being, this is just a string. Okay, so here in this activity, this men this won't accept another file like that. See, there's an error. Okay, so what you do, uh, the other option, if you would like to monitor multiple files, one thing we can do is cancel this, copy this file paste it so this trigger box can have multiple trigger trigger activities so here in the trigger act and various different activities also you can go with file change process uh, start trigger various activities you can use in a single trigger block and here uh, i can change this to a txt okay so all this can be done and ensure our goal is achieved okay so please do experiment more on this so once you understood how it works it's up to you to experiment more and learn about all the different options available on this activity. So thank you guys for watching. We are going to meet again in our next video. Take care. Bye-bye.